hundred dollars from mom, cooked dinner without starting a fire. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream tonight, Chocobo. Literally just in time, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, so yeah, I know it's a bit of a weird day for us, but I need to mute myself because I can't talk while listening to myself. Anyways, <laughs> I am new to one eye. For anyone that missed the 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 memo, are going out on Wednesday, which would be our normal day to stream whatever game we're completing. Um, because of that, I decided I would play a little bit of Metal Gear today instead. Wait, you think you bought a house? <laughs> how, how do you think you bought a house? <laughs> you don't know if you did or not? And, and I'm assuming you're talking about real life here? Oh, boy. Well, congratulations if you did, Chocobo. That's awesome for you, man. I, uh... Wow. <laughs> That's just such a weird way to say that. <laughs> Have you, like, not signed the paperwork yet or something? Or I'm very confused on the I think part. Uh, to stop the launch of the new of the new type of nuclear warhead, Snake must use the detonation code emergency override key at the underground maintenance base up north or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake fights Liquid's Hind D on the roof of Communication Tower B and defeats it and gets to the snowfield north at Communications Tower B. However, Sniper Wolf is waiting for him. After beating her again, Sanic and Octagon stay with her until her moment of death. Snake... That was supposed to say Snake and Octagon, it wasn't it? Damn translation issues. Sonic. I, was like, <laughs> I didn't know that the Sonic fan drawing thing was in this game. Snake successfully goes through the entrance to the underground maintenance base north of the snowfield and heads for the lower level to get to the Metal Gear underground maintenance base. Got a bunch of emails. You're going to go through and see if they accept your offer, but your agent has been blowing you up. Dude, seriously, that's awesome, man. Congrats. Nuro and I considered trying to buy one earlier this year, but we decided to wait a little bit longer. Wanted to have a little bit more money saved up in the bank and whatnot before uh, before we took the plunge. But here soon, I'm hoping to do the same. And again, seriously, congrats. That's awesome for you. Assuming you did get it, that's awesome for you. I bought my Steam Deck today. <laughs> that's the only big news I have. <laughs> I got... Actually, I had a good feeling about it. I remember, uh, I don't know, maybe a week ago, I was reading some some stuff about the Steam Deck, and they mentioned that uh, Valve always sends out the acceptance emails on, well, not acceptance, but whatever, you, you know, your, your pre-order notification emails on either Monday or Thursday, and I just had a feeling, I was like, this Monday is my day, man, I'm gonna, Monday, it's gonna show up, I feel it in my bones, and sure enough, I went downstairs to make some uh, rice earlier, and just as I was putting it in the rice cooker, I decided to check my phone, and I had the email, so I ordered it. I'm pretty excited for that. Probably less excited for that than you are for, you know, a house. <laughs> that's much more exciting. But still, that's uh, that's all I got, man. Okay, so new area. I can see some stuff. Oh, that's down bottom there, though. Okay, there is some stuff over there, too. I guess we could probably just take this guy out, presumably. We grab our SOCOM here. Okay, <laughs> that worked well. I really wish we had auto aim, man. Oh god, he's gonna see us. Yep. No, aim in the other direction, you dumbass. I. <laughs> oh my god. I severely miss having the auto aim in, in Metal Gear Solid 2. Or, or just a way to aim a first-person view of some sort would be fantastic in this game, man. That <laughs> we should not have been caught there. But we were, so <laughs> it's what it is. Took a bit of a hit, too. I feel like we took a lot of damage from that hit. I'm wondering if... Uh... How do we get to that? Oh... Well, we just fell in a pit of... Is that lava? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, so we have to be very careful walking along the walls, or we are deaded. MGS2 is losing, but you think RE4 is winning? Yeah, I actually did check right before the stream 
the poll, by the way, Chocobo is talking about the poll for anyone else out there, uh, for the next game for us to play. And it's like a five-way tie <laughs> right now. Um, there's a bunch of, of games sitting around with two votes. Uh, so if anyone hasn't voted and would like to, I don't know how many people are here right now. This is an odd day for the stream. But if you would like to vote and haven't, there's a link for it. Um, RE4, God of War, Jack 2, Sly Cooper, and Shrek 2 <laughs> are all tied for, for first place at the moment. Um, so yeah, one of those games will probably end up playing, assuming they all stay tied, which they likely will. I feel like um, what we'll do is we'll just grab a random number generator of some sort and and pick one that way. Okay, if we unequip, we cannot shoot. Okay, so we probably can't get through there. What what is this over here? A stun grenade. That could be handy. Does this guy go, like, the other direction? If I lay down here, will he walk past us so we can get around him? Because I'd like to try to do this no-kill. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now... So we have to, like, walk along this very carefully. If our finger slips... We're fu oh, there's a thing that moves along and pushes us off too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh, that makes things slightly more complicated than I expected. Sorry, we'll figure it out. I assume there's some way to either turn it off or maybe we just have to wait for the right cycle. There's got to be there's got to be some way around it. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip the SOCOM. I think we can, yeah, beat this guy over here. So we can kind of see on the map where it's at. So is it going to move far enough over that we can get off this ride? No. Can we... D oh, we can duck. We can duck. We just can't move when we are on the ledge. There we go, dude. Now we're talking. Okay, we're safe for now. I don't see anyone. That's good, too. What is this down here, anyways? Is that, like, actually lava? It's certainly what it looks like, but I don't know why there would just be a bunch of lava chilling around here. Like, what, kind of, what kind of manufacturing are they doing that they need that? Or is it, like, liquid metal, maybe? a giant pool of liquid metal if that's the case. I'll gladly take another ration though. I'm assuming we just need to get over there. Is that another ration? Might be. They're giving us an awful lot of stuff in this area which kind of scares me. <laughs> that usually means something bad is coming. This guy's going to come up here, I think. Oh, he's right there, actually. So we should be fine. C4 times 2. Uh, elevator. Oh, no. Is this taking us back up? I hope we can hop back on here. Can we... Go back down? Thank you. <laughs> I did not want to have to go all the way around again. Not that it took that long, but still. It wasn't possible for us to just take that from the beginning, was it? What's all the... Why does it seem like there's an alarm going off or something? That was odd. Very strange. Uh -oh. I have no idea what happened, but seems like we're fine, so <laughs> whatever. Um, 
I think that's just a ration, so we're going to skip it. We don't really need it right now. We're pretty, we're pretty full up on rations at the moment. What is this? Are we taking damage here? No. But I'm assuming all these steam vents would hurt us. God, there's like all kinds of them around here too, huh? These ones, it looks like we might be able to crawl under. The first one, at least. The second one, maybe not. Oh, no, don't run into that, dumbass. And again, that's fine, whatever. <laughs> we could use a nice steam cleaning every once in a while. We can crawl through here, I think. Yeah, dude. Just refills for everything. Oh, hi, there's, I didn't realize there was a, a, a turret camera here. Um, well, I mean, we just picked up chaff, and we probably... Yeah, we have a couple. We might as well go ahead and throw one. Make this a lot easier. Hey, Noodle, welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it, love. Okay, get rid of that. Ooh, body armor. Very cool, dude. So is that... I'm assuming that's an equipable, though. Yes. Reduces damage upon impact. Uh, I mean... I see no reason not to wear it right now. It's not like we uh, need our other stuff equipped at the moment. Isn't there a steam thing around here somewhere? Maybe it got turned off. Or maybe we just got really lucky. I have no idea. You ended up buying the pants? Are you talking about the other sweatpants? Noodle yesterday bought a couple tie-dye things. A uh, shirt and a pair of pants. And she was talking about maybe buying some more. So I'm assuming that's what, what you're going on about. If it is, good for you. You deserve some, some comfy pants. <laughs> Everyone deserves some comfy pants, man. A new area. We got going on here there's is that a elevator i think that's a giant elevator anything else we can pick up before we take a ride down the giant elevator though any goodies secrets hidden things some more moss bullets weird that it lets us like walk up that little ramp there but there doesn't appear to be anything there so okay down we go hoping for the best uh what's the action button again nope x nope triangle nope <laughs> maybe we have to unequip and, and punch it there we go circle work that time it's Genome Soldiers Part 2. Let's go. There he is. Get Buck Snake. Damn. I wonder if for this elevator ride we could have put down some things ahead of time. Some, uh mines or or whatever okay good job just <laughs> let's just punch the air a little bit i always find that super effective when we're dealing with with enemy soldiers why can't we kick you when you're down <laughs> that's a valid fighting technique just <laughs> kick them while they're down dude Oh my god. I'm really glad we ended up finding that body armor, because otherwise we'd probably be in a much worse position right now. Okay, well, we just knocked that one off, and that one died. 
think we're okay. We should probably eat a ration. We should probably eat two rations, actually. We took a lot of damage there, man. I remember in the first Metal Gear game, the only one I've beaten so far, you pick up, like, a flak jacket, bomb jacket. I forget what they call it. Um, but, like, the only thing it's for... It's not to, like, survive an explosion. As far as I know, it doesn't actually raise your defense or anything like that. It's just so that whenever you go down a... Or whenever you go up onto one of the roofs, there's a bunch of wind blowing. And you can't withstand the wind. Like, you get pushed back from it. So you can you can use that to weigh you down. So that you don't get blown back towards the, towards the elevator that you used to get up there. It's so dumb. Honestly, <laughs> it's, it's great, man. Uh, probably a bit overkill. We can just chaff. Uh, another elevator. Should we... Should we... Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, we need the mine detector. Oh, the mine detector won't work, though, will it? Because we are, uh... It's jammed right now, so we won't actually be able to see where anything's at anyways. So, I guess we just gotta claw crawl around for a little bit. But I am wondering if we should just clay more the hell out of this elevator before we start riding it. It might, it might save us a little bit of uh, damage taken. Or we'll just waste some claymores. Either one's possible. <laughs> I think we'll try it, though. Why not, man? We'll just have to be careful not to run into our own claymores after we set them. Assuming it'll let us, because it wouldn't let us set them on that, that one elevator that we were riding. Okay, claymore. Um, maybe one over here in that corner one in okay that's not really in the corner like i wanted but close enough that might blow us up whenever we go for that panel <laughs> it'll be fine i'm sure come on hit the button yes <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't blow up at least not yet hopefully whenever this little cutscene thing ends we don't just get blown up instantly by our own damn claymore okay it seems like we're okay i hear crows why do i hear crows though Oh, I see crows. Are we going to have to... Do we have to take out the crows? Why are there a bunch of crows in this underground facility? Something seems awfully suspicious about this. Snake. I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay, what's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But, 
You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja. Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. There's a lot of, like, double-crossing in this series, isn't there? <laughs> Why pick such an easy lie to disprove? Dude, you're the number one ranking alpine skier? Wow. That's incredible. I never even knew you skied. <laughs> I'll just blindly believe whatever you tell me. It's fine. I'm sure you're not lying about it. Can we pick up these claymores, or are they gone? I think our... our <laughs> really well to I mean you'd have to ski pretty damn well to be the number one ranked alpine skier, right? I'm assuming not just anyone can do that job. Yeah, so our claymores must have just uh <laughs> fucking disappeared after we put them down. So it ended up being a little bit pointless, but whatever. I guess we aren't actually underground, I'm assuming based off of all the snow. It's really weird <coughs> that we went from that big tower place right and then through a snowy area into an area filled with lava for some reason possibly molten metal i don't know and then took two giant elevators down and now we're in the snow again i'm a little confused on how the map of all of this works but it's fine getting a bunch of c4 too i feel like feel like something's about to happen. <laughs> uh, and before we just get murdered brutally. Hi there. Welcome, Are you Cossack. This the is Iceman? The end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? You must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> <laughs> Such a big boy. But that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Shh. Am I hallucinating? Oh God. Again. I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any the fucking anime, I love it. It really, really is. Jest, but indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. <laughs> you live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. You must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. <laughs> the fuck but is there this? is another event that I excel at. It is called the ear pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, <laughs> but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! <laughs> Ours will be a glorious battle. <laughs> this isn't glorious. Uh... It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. I was kind of hoping that he would just put down his guns and we would just grab each other's ears and start pulling, man. Not gonna lie. Okay, so... It looks like he has a somewhat predictable pattern. So maybe that's what all the C4 and shit is for.
Because I'm assuming if we get anywhere inside his... He did not blow up the C4. Does the C4 just not work in the... Oh, shit. Not the C4. Claymore. Does it just not work here? Like... <laughs> oh, shit. Can we get up top? Hold on. Let's put on the body armor real quick. Eat a ration and then put on the body armor. Um, Claymore. Is he going to come down this way by any chance? Or is he just going to walk back and forth? Maybe we need to put it out a little bit. Okay. And then what if we put another one like facing that way? So I'm thinking like maybe if we just... Oh God. <laughs> okay, he's got some good ass hearing, dude. Oh, God. That looks like it should be within the blast radius. Okay, he saw us. Well. <laughs> it does work, just has to be more in his blast radius, yeah. I'm noticing, which is... Confusing. Can we also use the stinger missile on him? I'm very confused about his path that he's taking, too. I just need to remember where I'm setting everything myself so that I don't end up running into them. I'm assuming maybe it's random. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay. Uh, shit. We really need to equip the ration before we freaking die. Okay. Just, just, yeah. There you go. Walk forward. Keep, keep walking forward, man. You got this. Don't, don't worry. There's absolutely nothing. There we go. That worked. Okay. He's turning this way. So it seems like he walks in straight lines. Um, but man, he has such a, such a large radius though. Let's try out the Nikita missile thing. I'm assuming that's something else that we can do. Oh, can we just, like, goad him into... Because he... Damn, dude. <laughs> he can hear the Nikita missiles coming? Is that what just happened? Nikita and Stinger's work. Okay, yeah, so he can hear them coming, though. So is there another way to get him to run into them? I'm assuming the C4 would also work all right. Maybe the best move, honestly, is just to equip the mine detector so that I don't just run into my own mines and then just put down a shit ton of C4. That one will hit, right? It's pretty damn close to his, his path. There we go. Oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the fucking rations. God damn it. Oh, well, whatever. We know what we're doing now, at least. So we put down Claymores. Just wait for him to run into it. And then after that, uh, I don't know, C4? We could try the Stinger missiles since the Nikitas aren't working. Maybe those ones will uh, not get blown up instantly by him. And then I can't help but wonder if just regular... Oh shit, wait, did I just go back up? God damn it, can we skip this cutscene? <laughs> I thought we were at the top. I didn't realize we were at the bottom. Anyways, um, I wonder if like regular guns or grenades or anything work on him. Or if it's only the, the high explosives. Like your C4s and Claymores and shit.
Come on, slow ass elevator. A little more quickly now. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's keep it moving, game. I don't <laughs> I don't want to spend the last uh the next hour here, I mean just freaking riding the elevator up and down. I wonder if the claymores are gonna respawn. So what I'm thinking is maybe it saves like a map location and since it's a moving platform. No. Okay. So yeah, they must have just entirely despawned. I wonder if the ones up here respawn. I hate everything. I was just getting ready to go into a crawl <laughs> to try and pick them up. <laughs> I literally was pressing the X button as I was getting blown up. Obviously, we're going to need these, so collect as many of them as I can find. I don't think there was any more down this way. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Eat the ration, grab our body armor, and let's go. Back down again. To pull each other's ears, apparently. Because <laughs> that's how grown men settle their, their differences. They pull each other's ears in the blistering cold. While crows fly around and decide who are true warriors and who 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 is not. <laughs> oh my god. I understand why the first elevator took so long. Because, you know, they had the whole fight sequence on it. But I really feel like they could have just uh made this one a, a fade to black load the next area fade back in sort of deal you know just make this one go a little bit quicker that would have been okay I would have been alright with that and then I think there was what a ration or something down here too wasn't there somewhere not not there uh, maybe not Heat a missile. There it is. Was that it, or did we pick anything else up? I've already forgotten. Some C4. More Nikita missiles. Yeah. Do we need to take that ration? No, we're good for now. Let's go. Okay. Skip the cutscene. Throw down some things real quick. And then hope for the best. I don't know. That was C4. Um, I mean, which I presume will work, but it's not what I was hoping for. Okay, I'm going to set them all around the outside first. Assuming that he's going to come this way fairly often Come on out. and before he now decides to j only walk through the middle let's hope he doesn't have a mind detector on him <laughs> Ooh, another ration please and thank you Kind of surprised with, like, all the, the C4, or not C4, I keep saying that, all the claymores and shit that are placed around here, I'm, I'm just surprised that he hasn't already came up with the idea of maybe carrying around a mind detector for himself. Okay, he's heading down. Oh, okay, he's getting faster. I mean, that makes sense. You gotta, you gotta get, make the boss harder as it goes along.
Okay, we're out of Claymore, so now we just have to basically wait and, and pray. But we've already gotten him like halfway. Let's go. Go ahead, keep, keep running down the way you're going. Yes. <laughs> oh. The path is getting blocked off as we go. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Um, C4, in case he comes through here. No, he's not. Excellent. Keep it up. Yes. Die. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Am I going to blow up? No. I'm good. Let's go, dude. That wasn't bad. That was that was actually relatively easy once uh once we knew what to do. You finished your book? That's awesome, Noodle. So what, do you have another Harry Potter book to go, or are you done? Which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Hey, it's so kind of you to just hand that off. You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'm taking it either way. Hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? Oh, okay. Right at the beginning of the game. The assistant director colonel i forget what his name was that was not the DARPA chief it was decoy octopus a member of foxhound oh wait what about the was other one was that a disguise. was that a decoy too he copied his subjects down to the blood so he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself that's fucking weird but he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? Is that Naomi, the Angel Why of Death? So much trouble? <laughs> Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Bye, Noodle. Each Thank you for stopping in, love. Take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no. Hey, Nate. My spirit will be watching you. I want video games to have outtakes because I want that to happen, Chocobo, what you said. Like, during his dying breath, I want him to just pick up the card and aim his gun at it and just, like, cut it in half with the fucking <laughs> minigun. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? <sighs> Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, 
Maybe we better let the Colonel hear this, too. Yeah. Go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of spy. Don, Don, Don. <laughs> yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do <laughs> with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate <laughs> any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry, then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. <laughs> Damn, Snake. Snake's not having no more of his shit, man. <laughs> we can't... Naomi's not one of the numbers we can call, is it? No. Damn. We can call Campbell, and she's there sometimes, but that's it. Um... Okay, I'm assuming our mines disappeared. At the very least, I'm not seeing any of them. But is there any pickups, any items that fell whenever all these crates were falling? Or just any random junk that we should be picking up before we go? Some extra rations would be mighty nice, to be honest. I mean, we're not doing too bad. We have four out of five. It's actually better than I, better than I thought. I'd say we're in a pretty good position, all things considered. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else to pick up here, so we'll just continue on. Into the next one. I'm assuming this is going to be a level 7 door. Yes, it is. Let's go. I just peeled a tangerine while that cutscene was playing, too. I'm going to eat, eat my tangerine. Dude, I fucking love tangerine. I just like... Okay. I'm glad I stopped where I did and not one step farther back. What is up with all of the red dots in this next area? Are those... They're cameras. Every single one is a camera. Oh god. Fuck. I hate everything. I hate this game so much. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to inch forward so I didn't run straight into the view of all those cameras, man. Okay. So... Are they decoys? Why are there so many of them? Hold on. If we equip the... I mean, there's, there's too many of them to use the stinger to take them all out. Holy hell, there's so many. They don't cause, like, a chain reaction. If we blow one up, it doesn't, like, blow them all up, right? I don't think so, but I'm going to try one. Oh, no, it does take out a chunk of them, but not all of them. Okay. Okay. Chaff it is.
I just hope it lasts long enough for us to get where we're going. Oh, God. <laughs> we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, throw another chaff. And... Go. I wonder if they, they thought maybe people would use stinger missiles here. It's with the, the refill they're giving you, that's... I can only assume that was another valid solution to the area. To just stinger missile, you know, the hundred cameras. I don't trust this random hallway. Wait, is that Metal Gear? Can't help but think that might be look that might be look that looks a lot like Metal Gear. Um Okay. God, they're giving us a lot of bullets and shit too. Something's gonna end up happening. Snake, it's me. What's hey, Otacon. Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep. That describes <laughs> me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? Are you I don't a know yet. hacker? I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Oh my god. Alright guys. Uh, the ad managers tell me it's time to run an ad. We only got a couple minutes left. And I have no idea what's about to happen. For all I know, we could be going into some sort of boss fight, big dramatic sequence or something. I don't know. But it seems like a pretty decent time to take a quick break. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the please wait screen just for a few minutes while the, the ad runs and I stand up and stretch. Maybe eat a little bit more of this orange. And we'll be right back for something with Metal Gear. Maybe some hacker action. I don't know. Let's stick around and find out. BRB, guys. Okay, I think I think we might be able to do one of those, man. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, do we have any money? We do. We have two hundred bucks. That's not that bad. Budget. Oh, it's like a breakdown of what we're making and whatnot. Okay. Options are just bullshit. Don't care. Save and quit. Okay. And then we got that must be our mood or motives, whatever they call it here. Relationships, career. We're unemployed. That's good. Oh, great. How are we supposed to have any fun around here? You're missing your soap operas? Oh, no. Not your soap operas. Check out our goals. Fix the TV. Okay, let's start with fixing the TV, man. It seems like I, I probably hate my life. We're probably going to need this TV just for some form of entertainment. <laughs> Not sure about woohooing in the hot tub. Sounds like Infection City to me. Uh, It'll be fun. <laughs> And this is how our character dies. <laughs> oh, my lord. You know what? That's what you get for trying to repair electronics with low mechanical skills. You should crack a book once in a while. You know what, Mom? I really don't like you. <laughs> do we have a bookcase? We do. Okay. What's the cancel button? Triangle. Study, study cooking. Because, like, we're going to be hungry in a minute. So let's see if we can maybe get some food going or something like that. Death to the old man. He's not even old. He's just a regular adult. 
But I, I know about fixing the TV, Mom. You just watched me get electrocuted half to death trying to fix the TV for you. Instead of even being thankful, you were just being a bitch about it. <laughs> like, be nice to your mom. My mom just watched me almost die and then yelled at me. Like, <laughs> like, hey, I know that that TV tried to murder you, but why don't you fix it already, you piece of shit? <laughs> like, damn, mom. Why don't you fix it, mom? I'm a master chef in the making. Stream has received one cooking skill point. Dope. We can maybe cook without uh, catching something on fire. Seems very momish. Yeah, true, true. Didn't even bother to call an ambulance. No, she didn't, man. She just fucking laughed at us, told us off, called us a piece of shit or something. Like, and then, Ma, you're just gonna leave your trash all over the fucking place too? God damn, Mom. I ain't your maid, dude. Just because I look as old as you are, like, <laughs> aren't you supposed to be taking care of me here? Wow. Wow. I'm shaking my head, head IRL. Dude, I haven't ordered it yet, but I'm getting a mic stand. I don't know if uh, I've told you all yet. I think I may have. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a, ma a mic stand so that I can uh, have it a little bit closer to my face. Hey, we got a point in mechanical skills. Maybe now we can repair this without fucking dying, which would be dope. Maybe yeah, I plan on ordering it within the next couple of days. And then the other thing that I wanted to actually tell you guys about tonight... Bro, what the hell? <laughs> we're gonna die. Like, we're straight up just gonna die. Hunger, comfort, bladder, fun, room. Okay, look. We got a point in mechanical skill. Just just fix it. There you go. He's not instantly ele being electrocuted, so I think he's doing okay. Sure, it's taking a long time. If you knew more about the mechanical skill, the pairs wouldn't take as long. Mom! <laughs> Stop being a bitch, dude. He loves having sticks by his face. This is true. I do. I do like a nice stick in my face. You know what I mean? Like a nice meat stick or or like a, a uh, ooh, a chocolate covered pretzel stick or a, uh, a nice cock. No, wait, what? I don't know if you saw it, but I need you to order me an eggy baby. You want Agatha? <laughs> no, I don't think I saw that. <laughs> All right. Had a nice stretch, got a drink, finished my orange. I guess that means it's time to, I don't know, honestly, try and take down Metal Gear. I mean, there's no way it's going to be that simple, right? Like something, something's going to have to happen here that prevents us from actually just taking down Metal Gear. Didn't expect a random camera over here. What's it covering? A ration. Um, didn't we just get a refill on our life? Uh, we did, but I guess we took a shot. So we might as well use it and pick up another one. Oh, good. Just in time to get shot again. <laughs> Sorry, we're fine. We're fine. Wait, did we miss something? That looks like a box. Oh, it's a vent system. Wait, is it a vent system? I can see it on the map and it looks like there's a little hole in the wall, but we can't actually do anything with it. So maybe, I don't know, do we come back with an RC car later or something? I don't <laughs> I'm assuming there's, there's something that we're gonna do with that, but we just don't have the tools for it yet. We'll be, we'll be back. Let's go ahead and climb on up. Can we, can we just pilot Metal Gear ourselves? That would be pretty cool. I'll just hop in it and destroy the whole base, man. No problem. Take her down real quick. Okay, we're being jammed, so we should probably take a moment to look around. Everything looks Gucci. More chaff grenades. Is it just giving us generic refills on stuff, or is there something we need to be worried about? More cameras, maybe? Can we use chaff grenades to take down the... <laughs> to take down Metal Gear? Just... <laughs> Got some info for us, Ocelot? Nick, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. 
He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Thank you for the uh, the update there, Ocelot. Just <laughs> hey, did you did you finish it yet? Nope, haven't finished it yet. Why'd you call me? I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ocelot. Appreciate that, bud. Is this a door? It's not, right? No. It looks it just looks really odd. Just want you to know you're going the right way. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, the only direction you can go right now. That's the right way. Keep at it. You're doing good work. It is actually really creepy. Like Snake said, the fact that there's no one here makes it worse. <laughs> like there's something there's something ominous about it. The music isn't helping either. Okay, we got a couple stinger missiles and nowhere else to go. So The loot is the scariest part. Oh yeah, that too. That just lets you know that something's coming, man. Okay, well I can't shoot that stuff from here. But maybe from the other side? I didn't miss anything else, like... Oh. Wait, no, no, that's not. Was that moving? That target looked like it was moving. It is moving. What the hell is it? Uh. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's only one way to go on top of Metal Gear. I was half expecting the conversation just to just end there. Nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I 
can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think okay. the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disc with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. I hope that's not true. <laughs> the whole, like, uh, missile detection systems relying on heat signatures from rocket propulsion thing. Because I don't know how far along railgun technology is IRL, but I know it's something that has been worked on, something that exists. Oh, there's some people. So that was our moving target. A person. It looks like there may be cameras on that side too. Okay. So we're going to have to be much more careful whenever we climb down this ladder here. Should we save? We haven't saved in a little while. We should probably save real quick. Uh, it's How not what it? I meant to do. Did you find the Imagine he just says yes. Four stages involved in launching a ballistic missile. The first one is the boost stage. Starts at the point the missile is launched and ends after all the rocket fuel is burned and the missile is propelled into the exo exosphere. The next stage is the post boost stage. It starts after all the fuel is burned and ends after the re entry vehicle is ejected. Next is the intermediate course stage. It takes place after the re entry vehicle is ejected and lasts until the missile enters the exosphere. Then comes the final stage. It starts when the re entry vehicle enters the exosphere and it lasts until it reaches its ultimate target on the ground. Missile defense systems use military satellites to detect rocket emissions during the initial boost stage of a missile. This new nuclear weapon employs the railgun's ability to fire projectiles at ultra-high velocity instead of using a rocket. That's why it can't be detected by today's missile defense systems. And on top of that, the re-entry vehicle also uses stealth technology. It's so accurate that its 50% zone comes close to 50 meters. That's as good as the best ICBM. A highly accurate, undetectable, uninterceptable nuclear weapon wouldn't even be able to tell where it came from. And that's not all. A standard ballistic missile uses a two-stage or a three-stage solid fuel rocket for its propulsion system. Besides costing lots of money, safely maintaining the solid rocket fuel and readying the missile for launch requires a lot of work. But a railgun-launched nuclear warhead avoids all of those problems and it's cheap too. It's a perfect nuke, a general's dream, and the world's nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yep, I get it. Shit's bad. Gotta stop it. Um, sure. <laughs> Let's go, man. I don't fucking. Uh. In China, they say the snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but snake, believe in yourself. Thanks, Mei Ling. Shit, no. <laughs> Do not save. I'm so used to Circle and X being the other way around lately, man. I haven't been playing very many Japanese games or, or Nintendo games. There's a large part of me that wishes that Sony wouldn't have changed it whenever things were brought to America, that they would have just left it the same as it was in Japan. Because Nintendo uses the same layout as uh, what they use in Japan. And that just makes it really confusing whenever you're switching between the two consoles, honestly. I wish we had a 3D camera right now. Okay, he's heading down that way. But if I'm not mistaken, he's going to come back back I don't know where he's at and that kind of worries me I kind of want to look down the other way where did he go oh, okay well we're getting a call 
Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the overpriced uh. <laughs> yet, but I found Just find the damn thing. Own. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Swear to God, if you call me again and you don't have any vital information. Fuck! <laughs> Wrong button. Yeah, I'm sure that was a lot of really cool information, but... Okay, well... Hi! <laughs> you weren't supposed to see me! Are you dead? You're knocked out, okay. How long? Not very. Isn't there like a camera around here or something? I guess that answers the question where the hell he went though. He must have been on the other side of Metal Gear here. Are you... Where are you? Are you walking down? Oh god. He might be able to use this. Yeah, okay. He's right there. He's coming back. We probably have time though. Assuming we're just going into this room right up here. Oh, uh, what was that noise? Shut up, we're in a loading screen. You can't see me. <laughs> okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, kind of means that China and India, I see. Kind of yes. smart. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Armstech president. Oh. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei so There's something in the air that the kills Spetsnaz. genome soldiers? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. 
Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Gogovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Da, da, da. Big boss. <laughs> Big boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. Code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Now really the best time to get Snake, into a call, Snake. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about. It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. <coughs> it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Oh. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? And then cold and then hot. Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature yeah. key. Kind of figured that okay, from the colors. I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn. Yeah, I'll snap. <laughs> oh no, is that the key too? Key fell in the drainage ditch. Oh my god. Snake, oh my god. Glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. Of course. <laughs> Jesus fuck snake. Snake. You've got to get <laughs> I told you it wasn't a good time to get on a phone call. Okay, so we're in high alert. Oh, good. We're being shot at. I love that. Hey, 
and I'm assuming we got to go back down to the bottom. Because, I mean, it fell off the, or out of the rail, we said, into the drainage ditch. So, presumably, there's some way to, to go through that, to, like, go for a swim. There was in the first Metal Gear game, actually. You could get, like, an oxygen tank. And, uh... Go for, for a swim through, through... I don't know if it was meant to be drainage, or I honestly don't know what the hell it was, because it was running, like, through the middle of a base, and it connected two together. But, uh, so I wouldn't be that surprised, because they did reuse a lot of elements from the first Metal Gear game for this Metal Gear Solid game. There's still all of those weird little like vents or whatever is connecting these areas together too and I imagine we're gonna do something with that at some point okay so we're back down at the bottom is there a way for us to like see the key to know where it fell exactly how do we oh okay yep yeah. and we are losing life while we're in there Wait, are we? I mean, it's like... It's dinging a lot. But I didn't see our life actually going down at all. And we'll quit the rations just in case, I guess, and then... There's another ration. Uh, should we just go ahead and eat one then? Yeah. Get our health back full. Cool. Um, okay, well, that one's got a gate on it, so we can't go through it, right? Oh, we actually have an O2 level this time? That's nice. <laughs> See, in that in that other game, Snake didn't know how to hold his breath. <laughs> he was just, he was just always uh, using his oxygen, man. So this must not be normal water. Oh, a bomb. Interesting, okay. Um, chaff grenade. Excuse me, game. Chaff grenade. Thank you. I wanna. I wanna search through thermal goggles. Okay. What does that do? That's night vision. Scope. No. Do you mean night vision goggles? Because it doesn't seem like we have thermal goggles yet. Okay. <laughs> that was a big ass bomb. Um, mind detector maybe? Is that what we should have? Is that what we should have equipped? <laughs> oh god. Okay. Let's grab let's grab the mind detector real quick and see if anything pops up. Um uh-huh, there we go, yep. I can I can see things now. Wait, didn't we get a bomb there last time? Wait, is it Is it random? That's weird. I don't still have a bomb, right? No. Okay. So the the layout of junk here must be different this time? Or did the chaff grenade kill me somehow? Is it because it's like an electromagnetic pulse and I was in the water with it? Hold on. I, we might die again, but I'm going to run into this. Nope. How key and bomb. Okay. So that was actually the things that we needed. Excellent. Um, I don't think this is what we need to use the bomb for. But can we...
Excuse me, game. <laughs> what was that? It happened again. Uh, so yeah, I guess it is somewhat random the layout, like where the where the things are that murder you. But like, how do you? I didn't see it on the the detector thing, and we don't have thermal goggles, right? Body armor, gas mask, night vision, boxes, scope, mind detector, diazepam, and then we're back to the gas mask and shit. Yeah. Okay, there's the key. Maybe it's night vision goggles? I don't know, I don't see anything. Um, it seems like I have to have the mine detector on to pick that up though. Oh! The bomb has a timer on it. That's what it is. Okay, that's... <laughs> that's what kept blowing up and killing me. That makes sense. So it is the mind detector. The mind detector lets us see the stuff in the water. Um, but because we kept picking up that bomb and not throwing it away... That's what was killing us. I thought maybe the bomb could be used to, like, open up one of these these sewer grates here or something. Which, I mean, maybe it still can be. Uh, but just not that kind of bomb. Maybe we'll try some C4. Because if you look at the map, it looks like you can go through this section. Did I submit when Ocelot torched me? No, no, I did not. I survived. I I lived through it all until I escaped. Okay, that didn't do anything. Cause if you if you submit, doesn't he kill Meryl or something? Isn't that what he said he was gonna do? Or no. If you submitted, he said he would spare Meryl? I don't remember. It was something, something along those lines lines. Alright, so we got. Fuck, what do we do? We got the key back. Now what? Uh, let's grab the mine detector real quick again. So we can make sure that there's nothing else in the water that we need to pick up. Doesn't appear to be. Okay, so I think we can just go ahead and back back up to the top now and try to figure out how to deal with all this. I'm still a little confused. Like, how are we going to change the temperature of the crap, too? Because, I mean, I the room temperature one's easy enough. I'm assuming that's just, you know, the default state of it. But then we have to get it cold... And then we have to get it hot. So there's got to be some sort of trick to all of that, too. It's been a while, but one of the alternatives is a uh, rat will take the key and you need goggles to find it. That sounds cool. I like how, like, just things change in the game based off of what you do or don't do. It gives it a little bit of replayability. For, for a single player game is a really nice addition because, you know, otherwise it's the same damn game every time you play it, which if you enjoy a game, it's not bad and in this case, I could see myself replaying it someday but replaying it and things being different is just that much better I don't think we can actually see that camera from here I was hoping to be able to take the camera and or the dude out but I don't think there's any way for us to get a a shot at them we might be able to 
use the Nikita missile. Is that available? No, no use. Lame. Okay, never mind. Uh, just go for it. <laughs> I'm sure that'll work. What's the worst that would happen? Let's put on our body armor. <laughs> not that I expect anything to go wrong, not at all. But you know. It's always good to have some protection though. <laughs> you never know. Oh, the door's open again. There's a camera right there. So, chaff? Wait, are the people gone? And then... Stinger? Did that work? Yeah. I wasn't positive if it would or not, because we weren't actually locked on. Ow. Whatever. It did the job. <laughs> I'm glad the other camera didn't pick up the fact that, you know, shit's blowing up right in front of it. Okay, so if we grab the key... It's currently in room temperature mode, it looks like. So we can go ahead and put it in this one, and that should work out just fine. Presumably. How's everyone's day been? Mine hasn't been too bad. I haven't done a whole lot today. I, I ate some food. <laughs> I, that's about it, honestly. <laughs> really okay. haven't done much today. That takes care of pal code number one. Just kind of been a lazy day for me, which is what now I prefer my Monday two. Mondays to Raise be. The key. How's it been for you so far, man? How is Nate's day today? They freeze the key. No, don't snake. I didn't even hit a button. I just ran around the room. Fit. Oh, good. Okay, that didn't. I thought that was going to be GG. They freeze the key. How do we... Freeze the key. MRC4... How do we freeze the key? Do we have to go somewhere where it's cold and then very quickly come back here? But then how would we heat up the key? I'm gonna give Campbell a call. Maybe he'll give us a hint because I have no idea. You've got to lower that car key's temperature. Find some place cold. <laughs> Fuck, really? That's that's all you got for me? You've got to lower that car key's temperature. Find Work today, but you had a decent day. You got two sales, sold like 500 in accessories. No shit, man. That's awesome. Now freeze that key. Get somewhere cold. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. Maybe try Alaska. Uh, if only we had somewhere cold to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blow up this one too. Camera, I mean. Maybe if I could see it. Is this camera useless? <laughs> like, it doesn't seem to... Even though I'm like right in front of it, it doesn't seem to do shit. Um... So do we have to completely leave? Can we like... Can we store it in an ice pack somewhere? I don't... Take the key somewhere cold. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is backtracking entirely. Oh, did the bot break? I'll try, I'll reset the bot here in a moment if it continues to not work there, Nate.
really don't care about this guy. I'm just gonna... <laughs> did, we, did we punch each other? <laughs> that was great, man. I just hope that the, the cameras and the, the dude here don't respawn. It seems like, I mean, like, they're all like, you know, time is of the essence. They could fire that thing any moment now, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then you have to backtrack halfway across the world? Like, that doesn't sound right to me. Now, that underground area where we fought Wolf or whatever the hell his name was, that did seem somewhat cold. So that's not too far, but what about hot? I really can't think of a hot area. Is there, is there a microwave inside one of the buildings or something? Maybe Ocelot will know something, or Octagon know something. Next, you've got to cool the card key. Where should I do that? This is Alaska. Go outside. It's cold everywhere. Okay. But yeah. So we you're literally close do. To the warehouse where you fought Raven, right? Okay. That place is right in the middle of the permafrost layer, and. Okay. I, I mean, that's pretty much what I figured. It, again, it just seems weird, all things considered. Oh, nope. Over here. And I'm assuming we'll be on a timer? And do we have to... Do we have to, like, have the key out the whole time? Or do we just put it... Do we put it back away? I have no idea. Regardless, I think the best thing to do right now is take a couple rations, because <laughs> our health's pretty low. I guess we can use this this cold one as a trial run, and then maybe for heat, could we not just, like, blow it up with some C4 or something? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Oh no, we must not have to hold it the entire time because otherwise we won't be able to get through the damn door. Oh. And that's probably why there's so much cameras here to make it annoying. Whenever you have to run back and forth through it 20 times. We're in a cold area, so do we just pull out the card? Do we click on it? Do we just chill here for a little bit? It's still yellow. Is there like a machine that I can put it in here? I don't... Do I lay down on the ground, <laughs> rub it around a little bit? Pressing circle on it doesn't seem to do anything. All right, Octagon, I'm in a cold area. Now what? Next, you've got to cool the card key. You're close to the warehouse. Yeah. I mean, we're in the warehouse. Maybe we have to go through here? On the outside of the warehouse? Maybe it's just not cold enough. Do I have to strip down naked? I'm very confused. <laughs> like I get the I get the idea behind it. I'm with you there. But it doesn't seem to be changing. All right, time for Google. This is where I give up. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid how to 
cool power key. Can you go back farther? The next layer, or if we continue to go back, it'll take us up. Because right here is the, the, the elevator that goes back up to the top. Return to the nearby area where Snake battled Raven and wait for the pal key to change from yellow to blue. You just had to wait. <laughs> we just didn't wait long enough. Okay. That's fine. Hopefully it stays frozen for a while. So... Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming we just had to be quick. Because it'll probably unfreeze eventually. Um, I really should have thrown the chaff grenade sooner. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we survive. It's not actually that bad. So just run nonstop. Don't stop. If we stop, the key might warm back up, and that would be bad. <laughs> I'm really concerned about the whenever we have to make it hot. Um, that's the part that I'm concerned about because the only way to get into here that I know of is through that cold area. And presumably taking something hot through a freezing cold area is going to be a great way to warm it back up. Or I'm sorry, to cool it back down. And that's not what we're going to want to do. Uh, grab the stun grenade. Is it still cold? It is. Snake, stop punching! <laughs> Climb down the ladder, damn it. We don't have time. Throw a stun grenade so we don't get stopped by the guy, hopefully. I don't care about the alert. I don't know if that stunned him for long enough. It did. Excellent. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Did the cameras respawn? They did. That's annoying as hell. Oh shit, there's gas in here. Um. <laughs> Fuck. Not a stun grenade. Does the chaff grenade do anything? Maybe if we use the stinger. Oh. Uh, gas mask. Are we still on alert? We're still on alert, even after blowing them up. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I wonder where the autosave is. Wonder Where's our pal key? Okay, it's still cold. Um in that case throw a chaff grenade. Hopefully we have a second here. I don't know how long we have. Put the key in, Snake. And then leg it the fuck out of here. I'm glad it auto saved like right before we came in here, though. That was that was actually very helpful. Or not auto saved, but you know. Okay. Checkpointed. There goes pal code number two. Next comes pal number three. Warm the key. And how do we do that? I have literally no clue, game. Ha! You can gas it all you want. <laughs> I'm not in there. <laughs> Alright, Octagon. You're the man in this situation. Where the hell do I go? Somewhere warm? What about the blast furnace? But the, the problem is, furnace. if you go through a cold place on the way back, the card key might change shape. You need to hurry on the way back. 
I don't remember where that is, to be honest, but I'm assuming if we just keep walking backwards, we'll get there eventually. So, that's the plan. Last furnace. Man, I really cannot remember that section at all. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, body armor. I don't want to waste the stun grenade. We should be able to get out of here. I don't think he can follow us up the ladder or anything. Even if he can, there's a loading zone like right after it, so. Where'd he go? I mean, you're on a platform. There's only two directions I could have went, dude. It shouldn't be that hard to find me, honestly. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. You can stay lost and confused. I don't mind. Okay, Blast Furnace. Um, Who did we fight before Raven? That was last week, so I've basically forgotten. Oh god, and we're going to have to ride those two stupid elevators. I feel like we're going to have to be super fucking quick with the, the warm key, the hot key. I also think that I suddenly really have to pee. <laughs> Level 7 card. Chaff grenade. Go ahead and throw that. Ow, really? You saw me? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize just taking one step to the left would be enough for the cameras to see me. My bad, game. That's a convenient ration. Thank you. I'm glad things are respawning. Because, I mean, we need refills on all our shit. Oh, there's people here now. Excellent. So another challenge to the game, or to the, to the run back, is there going to be... Are there any more people that we need to worry about, or are we fine? Hopefully it's okay. Uh, I, if there's still C4 up here, or not C4, why do I keep calling it that? If there's still Claymores up here at the top, I think we're going to grab the Claymores too. Um, I do really have to pee, but I don't want to end the stream until we finish up this section at least, just because, I don't know, it feels like a, an odd time to finish the stream. So we're going to take a few minute break just you know, a little bit early, and then I guess we're going to stream a little bit longer than I planned on, because I want to finish the section, or at least try to. If it ends up being, like, extremely hard to, to get back in time or something, maybe we won't. But we're going to give it a go, damn it. Anyways, I got to pee, so I'm going to go do that. We'll be right back, guys. He's looking into it. Never mind. I didn't realize there was about to be a okay, <laughs> cutscene. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No, you're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. Da, she da, was in the best position to have done it, <laughs> but I don't know what her motive was. Does the colonel know? I'm not sure. 
But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the fox dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the colonel. Fine, it seems to be triggered by adrenaline or something, so we just have to we just have to stay calm. And everything will be a-okay, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, if the if the game is almost done, then we can try and beat it tonight. I can't go too too long because I have to pick Noodle up from work tonight. But uh, I do have a little bit longer that I can go. So uh yeah. Oh, okay, we're being shot before we even gain control of our character. Excellent. Anyways, though, I still do really gotta pee, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that break. BRP guys. Table. Now unlocked in buy mode. Ooh, how fucking fancy, dude. Yeah, I think I missed that one, love. I have to. I have to take a look again later. All right. Uh, what was our other goal? Catch or make food without catching everything on fire. Let's do it. Let's see if we can make some food without catching ourselves on fire and burning everything down. Have you had the Reese's pretzels? I have not. I'm not a huge peanut butter person, actually. Kind of surprising, considering how much I love Reese's uh, and Take Fives. But, yeah, no, I'm not a huge peanut butter person. Now, those pretzels, though, I don't know if they have, like, a lot of peanut butter in them or if they're mostly just chocolate-covered pretzels or what. I don't know. Anyways, what I was going to say, though, the the socials, man, for the, the stuff that I've been doing. Uh, my tits and things, right? I have the TikTok account and a instagram account and i am ready to share it with you i think oh oh okay yeah the video popped up and i was like oh no the video shouldn't be ready yet <laughs> no i just want to copy link copied and send them you do i'm working on it There you go. <laughs> Air Master Whiffer Puff Gold and now unlocked in buy mode. Dope. We we unlocked a thing. So there's that. And then uh Le Instagram is the other one. I'm not sharing the YouTube channel yet because that would give away what it is. So you just gotta wait on that one. I'm sorry. Um Profile. Control C hmm. and paste. <laughs> there you go. There's though. There's those. I mean. Um. So yeah, give them a follow if you like, guys. The video I have one completed, um, ready to go, and those will be going up on on everything tomorrow night is the plan. I'm hoping to get one more ready before then. But no guarantees because life ended up being a lot more hectic than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, yeah. But hopefully there will be two videos going live tomorrow night. Regardless, with the YouTube channel and probably on, on other platforms, I plan on updating everything at least once a week. Probably a couple times a week. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's all. I just wanted to send that to you guys so you could see uh, or get get followed early if you wanted to and do all that fun stuff for whenever the the things start going live, man. Here soon. What did you say? Try them. They are great. They're potato chips one, too. Ooh. Those are fancy. Yeah, I'll just post them in the Discord.
All right, all right. I don't want to I don't want to dilly-dally too long. If we have the the chance to possibly finish the game tonight, it's a turret camera. That's what's getting us. Okay. Um So everything's still Oh, that's right. There was the one over there. I forgot all about it. Uh we still have to worry about the claymores though, and I don't know if these will be useful for the final Is it the final fight? I mean, I'm assuming it's Metal Gear, right? That's what we're here to stop. Although we may have to stop, not Big Boss, Liquid, Liquid Snake as well. Um, but I don't, what else would we do after that, you know? Like, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that, that, what? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, okay. Well, let's eat that ration real quick then. <laughs> The blast furnace is the area that we were in with the, the fucking molten metal. Dude, I made... <laughs> I talked so much about why the hell is there a bunch of, of molten metal around here or, or lava or whatever. And <laughs> yet somehow it completely escaped me whenever I was like, Oh, I don't know anywhere there's fucking heat, man. Where are we going to get some hot shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> the fucking... Of course... <laughs> God damn. Oh, stupid. I guess that's where we get the heat from, guys. <laughs> Can we just, like, dip the key card down in there a little bit? Get it real nice and hot before we uh, run back through the freezer? I guess the, the layout of this area makes a little bit more sense now. Um, it still seems a little weird. Why would you put... A blast furnace close to the permafrost freezing cold forever layer of the world. But I mean, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I don't fucking no. Uh, there was stuff around here, right? Did any of it respawn? Those are from moss bullets. I'm looking for chaff grenades, would be really handy. As well as. I guess that's it, really. That's all we really need is more chaff grenades. Because we've been using those to get through the section with the all of the cameras. Nothing. Just FAMAS bullets. Well, how many do we have? We have 15. That's nothing to, to sneeze at, I feel like. Okay. Is this room going to be hot enough, or are we going to have to go deeper? I feel like this room's probably going to be hot enough. Oh, God. What? No! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Hey guys, I think we heated up the key card, okay? <laughs> I bet you it's nice and warm right about now. <laughs> God damn it. I just wanted to get the ration. Do I go for it again? How many rations do we have four? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for it again. <laughs> I feel like that's a bad idea, man. Okay, so it's currently at room temperature. Um Yeah, there was this area over here. And there was, there was more stuff. I just don't remember what all there was. Nothing there. Anything hiding in here? New. No. Probably not, but I'm just, I'm just hoping that there will be some, uh, some chaff grenades or something over here, but I doubt we get that lucky. Plus, we probably got to spend a bunch of time in here anyways, waiting for that key to warm up. Yeah, it's still just room temperature anyways. Stinger missiles. Hey, chaff grenades. Awesome. There actually were some. Jesus Christ. Now, by the time we get through here, though, we're going to have to go collect that other ration because I'm going to die. It is nice and hot now. Um, 
equip the body armor for now in case we continue to take shots. I doubt it'll help with all of the steam, but I mean... Do we go for it? I think yes, but I'm gonna save first. One, it hasn't it's been a while well, since we saved, and two, if we do die, it'd be nice to already have the key card warmed up and everything uh collected. Snake, Leo DeRocher said, win any way you can. Nice guys finish last. What about you, Snake? Is that what you think? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to stay alive? You should think about that, Snake. That was a little less motivational than I feel like it was meant to be. I think she just told us to be to be a dick. Okay, we survived. <laughs> Thank God. Um okay, we're still we're still nice and toasty, right? Looks like it. So we'll grab the key card there we'll grab do we just tank the hits i think we just tank the hits man instead of wasting chaff grenades because i mean metal gear is a giant machine made of uh or it's a giant machine <laughs> i almost said made of metal but that that part's not important it's just a giant ass machine so wouldn't it be affected in some way by chaff grenades so i feel like we should keep as many of them as possible because there's no way we get through this without doing something with Metal Gear, man. Like, something's going to happen and Metal Gear's gonna come and try to fucking murder us. <laughs> like, there is not even the smallest doubt in my mind. Better than her telling you to go eat a dick? I mean, this is true, I guess, but... Like, I feel like that's damn near what she did tell us, though. Um... Okay, so we run around to the next elevator. Octagon told us the cold area we have to be especially careful in because it will uh, warm up our shit or cool down our shit quickly. I, like, I want to check the PAL key, but I also don't want to waste the time checking the PAL key. Come on, game. Quickly now. I'm gonna check the pal key. I can't I can't help it. Okay, it's still hot. Presumably while we're in that menu, we're fine. Like I'm assuming everything pauses on screen, so I'm assuming that counter or whatever pauses too. We should also take a ration so we don't die. Oh, I don't have time to talk Snake, right now. Can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. <laughs> I don't Shut know up. my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, hey, Noodle. My race, Welcome back, anything. love. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Me me Rhodesia, you. <laughs> what's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? understand who I am now why should I no one else tries to understand me hey thank you so much for the five bits so love I appreciate you until I met my big brother and him your big brother yes Frank Yeager what so that name supposed to mean something soldier. 
when he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes, Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? Oh. We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed I mean, revenge and joined Foxhound. They were kind of trying I to murder me. I chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final I sure so you. don't. <laughs> That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? <laughs> Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Uh -huh. The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake! <laughs> Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Okay, so... First off, is the pal key still hot? Yeah, okay. 
Good. Um, so she's a bad person, but not a bad person. And what, did she start to fall for us over the years? Because, I mean, that whole lead up there makes it seem awfully like she was trying to say she loved us or, or forgave us or something along those lines. And who made the decision? Is it the, the master? I feel like I feel like masters playing a larger role in this than what they're letting on, dude. Okay, level seven card, let's go. Uh no time to stick on walls, snake. Just keep running, just keep running. Don't care if I'm shot. <laughs> Gotta get there in time. No time to dilly dally, dude. Let's go. Uh, body armor, so we don't die here. Okay, key card. Get in the door, snake. Do we still have time? Are we good? Okay, it's still hot as of now. Um, at this point, I think we can just carry whatever. It doesn't really matter. Oh, the stun grenade. We should go ahead and get that out, though. Because we're going to want to use that for, for the guy up top so we don't get stopped again. We've already taken a couple hits. Taking any more could be very detrimental to our to our <laughs> advances. Not our... our, our operation our goal i really want to run around and check for more ammo and and you know just loot in general but uh we can't we have no time maybe after we place the key we'll have an opportunity to wait how do we end up with c4 no stun don't forget noodle i've never forgotten noodle i won't forget noodle also i'm sorry about malcolm love I saw your message, but it was in the middle of a cutscene. I didn't want to interrupt it. Okay, we should be good with that. Yep. And then we need to throw a chaff grenade very quickly for the cameras. Come on, game. We should have thrown that before we got here. I don't know if it would still be active, actually, or not, though. Okay, we're still good as of now, though. I'm assuming holding the, the PAL key won't make it cool down quicker. Get off the wall, damn it. Put it in. Please, game, please. <laughs> was it red? I didn't see if it was red. Yes, let's go, dude. Wait, what? Wait, so it wasn't active? They used me to activate it? I deactivated it. I'm almost done with the game. I planned on ending the stream at 9, but now I kind of want to try and finish it. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really it. must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. <laughs> In other words, Oops. we weren't able to launch the nuclear device and we were all getting... A little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus... Didn't Next year? I have no counter. idea. Thanks to Fox <laughs> no, I don't love. You mean you had this plan from the beginning? Just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? You didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? 
Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. Oh, I shit, didn't know dude. because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So is that who octopus is or whoever? Snake, you've been Decoy? talking to me, dear brother. Oh, that's liquid. Liquid. How the you've served your purpose. You may die now. Well, shit. Okay. <laughs> uh. Wait. What? Um. Uh, game. What do we... What do we do? Hello? <laughs> Octagon? <laughs> Anyone? Help? <laughs> Please? Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Oh, Can of course. You security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Okay. So just, just hang tight? <laughs> just chill for a bit? Sure, why not? <laughs> Oh, God. I'm sure everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Here we go. You got good I news for me? Security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Thank you kindly. Light a cigarette? Yeah, I'm sure that'll go great. <laughs> With the, uh... Uh... Hello. Was that, was that liquid? Doing a, a sneaky little run over here? I'm sure we were meant to see that though. Oh God, we probably could have went back and, and got some shit real quick. Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. Ah, did she stop it from killing us? Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. 
I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Then why anyway, did you play such a role in her be being arrested? Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye. But Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But, I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. If if I got the the one genes and you got the other, then doesn't that mean we're not genetically identical? find out the snake's connection to big boss yet i'm assuming you're talking about him being our dad i have no idea when that was revealed but no because <laughs> i i remember killing him in the first game metal gear on the nes but i don't remember them talking about him being our dad though maybe i just forgot that bit how do i stop it the reason guys still think it's okay not to wear shirts in businesses I don't know, man. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I have no clue there. Alright, so what's the strategy here? It's a machine, so chaff's probably going to be useful in some way. Uh, but I'm assuming bullets don't do shit. <laughs> Missiles of something? Snake has the good genes, this dude has bad. That means you're going to kick his ass. Well, I mean, we have that plot armor, so. <laughs> we got to win. Be a hell of a plot twist if we didn't, though. Um, okay, maybe sit my drink down. We can move. We got our chaff grenades. Uh, it gave us a bunch of missiles recently. Can we shoot it with the stinger? Uh, this doesn't seem good. Okay, it doesn't seem like we can shoot it with the stinger. Um, grab the rations. Maybe, maybe the Nikita then? Oh god, that hurts. <laughs> Okay, um, that didn't do shit. The Nikita doesn't seem to work. That's good. Does the chaff do anything? Oh god, we're gonna end up dying. I didn't mean to unequip the rations. Okay, that did seem to... S oh. Okay, so it's still firing missiles, but they're not, like locked onto us anymore? Can we use... 
Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so the, the stinger does work, but only... Only if we hit it in the right spot. Excellent. And the chaff seemed to stop the missiles from hitting us. Did I just throw... What was that? <laughs> okay, grab... Stinger. No, don't waste the... Why is it not locking on now? Am I missing something? Where do I lock on at? Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something important on how this works. I don't think stun grenades are going to do very much for, for this fight. I'll be honest. Uh, I guess throw another chaff? Octagon. You're a smart fella. What do you got for us? Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So we'll okay. find it. Yeah, try so to get left that arm. with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak <laughs> is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy okay. the computer control system. You so we're probably screwed this point. time already? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one <laughs> <Yeah. on God>. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Whatever. I didn't mean to call you again. First, use a stinger... Yeah, I think we're screwed this time because uh, we've already taken a lot of damage, but we know what to possibly do next time. Left arm. Where's the stinger missile? Is he hiding? There it is. Uh, shit, we're about to get hit. Yep. So basically, we just gotta we gotta throw a chaff grenade, hit the left arm, throw a chaff grenade, hit the left arm, repeat. That's kind of that's the loop that we're stuck in right now. And then get the chaff grenade ready. Probably just throw it right away. I'm assuming. Ow. Because all of time is frozen whenever you're on the codec, obviously. Oh, shit, we're dead. <laughs> Sorry, we know what the hell we're doing. You always got to take the first time to, to figure out the ins and outs of it. Find the find the boss's weak point, if you will, and then and then you can start the real the the real boss fight. Okay, chaff grenade, stinger missile, chaff grenade, stinger missile, rinse and repeat. Can we... I'm assuming we can't just stinger missile like right now, can we? No. Like if I just... Okay, well, it locked on like right at the right time. We probably need to run because I'm assuming it just... Oh, the chaff grenade wore out. Well, that wasn't helpful. Uh, equip the rations before we fuck that up. And... Stinger. Come on. Damn it, dude. Okay, so after we throw the chaff grenade, we need to run. 
before we... I really wish we had like a dodge roll or something. <laughs> uh, no, he already shot us here once. So let's move up a little bit maybe. And now... Not grenade, stinger missile. Perfect. Chaff grenade. Throw. Oh, that looks bad. Stinger missile. Come on, lock on. Lock on. Lock on. Did I throw one? I don't think I threw one. I guess we can probably, like, hide behind stuff, too. I'm assuming that will also help us not take so much damage, but... So far, we're doing okay. I think, maybe, we might have this one, dude. I have some hope. <laughs> I don't know if I should have hope, but I have hope. Oh, okay. That's fine. Just get up, snake. Maybe I'll throw another chaff grenade early. Stinger. Lock on. another chaff grenade i just hope after we get this thing down we don't need chaff grenades for anything because if we do we're screwed we're so close come on lock on chaff grenade throw oh shit caught us <laughs> get up get up and run <laughs> fucking go dude all right, throw another one. I'd rather, like I said, I'm assuming, because like, what other machines are we gonna fight? This is the big, this is the big bad machine. This is the whole reason we're here. Is that gonna be it? One more? Apparently that didn't hit. Why the hell didn't that hit? <laughs> Excuse me, game. I have a problem with your decision there. There we go. That one did the trick. Okay, still one more though, I think. Stinger missile. This has got to be... Yes, let's go. Okay, so now he said... Octagon said it's going to open up and we got to fire a stinger missile into the controls in the middle. Stage two, baby. Let's go. Ninja bro. Oh my god. Ninja bro strong as hell. So it is you. You look terrible, Snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell. There we go, dude. how Metal Gear Rex is just like blowing up in the background while we're having this heartfelt conversation. It's fun. 
Don't worry about the giant machine. It's trying to kill us. I'll stop it from moving. Actually, he doesn't seem to care too much, does he? <laughs> Who needs two arms anyways, right? In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes. We hunt jackals. Instead of foxhounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Let's go, boys. Impressive. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished. Uh, no, my other stinger. Fox, can you really shoot? You'll kill him too. Yes, yes, now, I can. In front of you, I could. I can't die. do it. Yes, I can. Pull the trigger. <laughs> What do you mean you can't do it? <laughs> Just can't pull the damn... The okay. Um... But soon, is there anything soon, else I can shoot? Will, I, I can't put away the stinger. It's no good. I can't do it. No, Fox, you dumbass. <laughs> ah. Now can I shoot? <laughs> Please, game. Foolish man. He prayed for death, and it found him. Uh. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Okay, so I'm assuming it's the same. I kind of wish I wouldn't use so many <laughs> now, but. Get up, please. Thank you. Uh, that's not. I'm not even facing the right direction. Holy hell. How did my. Did I use all my rations or did I. Did I. Uh, what the fuck happened? I don't know if I accidentally hit the wrong button and unequipped them, or if I had used them all. Did the redhead girl die? I don't think so. Wait, are you talking about Meryl? To the best of my knowledge, she's still alive. They were talking about her still being alive, at least. Okay, so we probably want to try and not use so many chaff grenades. Uh, also, make sure we equip the rations and leave them equipped. Where? Stinger. Chaff grenade. And Stinger. Yeah, her. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, she's still alive. They were talking about her uh, being kept alive. We haven't found her yet or anything, but... Lock on, please. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. 
Oh god, we ran right into that one. That was dumb. God, we're gonna get hit again. Keep him turning. Keep him turning. <laughs> if, he, if he keeps turning, he can't shoot, right? That's how that works. Why can I not aim up any higher? Oh no, I must be too close or something. Son of a bitch, I was trying not to waste so many chaff grenades. Okay, we gotta get farther away from him. There we go. I think it's only one or two more shots. We got this. Uh, no, never mind. It's a couple more than I thought. I think I might have been looking at our health. <laughs> Okay, that should be far enough. Stinger. Did it lock on? No. Lock back on, please. Damn it, dude. Get up. Stinger. I'd prefer if it gave us stinger missiles instead of fucking... Or, I'm sorry, if it gave us uh, chaff grenades instead of stinger missiles, honestly. They seem much more useful, all things considered. Okay, last one. Come on. Must be too close. Back up a little bit. Is that a ration? Hell yeah, dude. I will gladly accept that. Did that hit? That didn't hit? Shoot the damn thing! <laughs> Game, come on! Okay, skip the cutscene. No. No, I, I would if I could, but it won't let me game. We can't no, skip this part. Can't do it. Oh, maybe during this cutscene it looks like it unequipped everything that we had. So I must just, I guess after this cutscene I just need to hurry up and re-equip the... The rations. Wait, no, wait. They're automatically re equipped. Yeah, I don't know what we messed up. Oh, that's a stun grenade, not a chaff. What? That's the. What the hell is going on with my items? Get up. God, I can't see shit because I stun grenaded like a dumbass. <laughs> okay. I don't know if the stun grenades are even working right now. Or, I'm sorry, if the chaff grenades are even doing anything right now, I mean. Like, I'm assuming that even though he can see, it still messes up the, the targeting. In some way. At least I'm hoping it does, because otherwise, dude, I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe not. <laughs> Wait, are we out of rations? We are. What the hell do we do? Okay. Stinger missile. Run. Are there any more rations around here anywhere? Nope, that's it. Fuck. Okay, so I think the chaff grenades were helping. You know, it doesn't quite make sense to me. I think they were. Is that a ration? Fuck yes. Yeah, so it looks like when now that the thing's open, he can aim a little bit. But the chaff stops it from being like perfectly aimed. Oh god. It's it's close. Aw, oh, shit, I threw both of them. I didn't mean to throw both of them. Come 
Come on, lock on. Oh, we didn't have to wait for it to lock on. It just worked. Come on, shoot. Shit, we're dead. We're so fucking dead. Oh my god, it's so close, dude. Did it count, or did we die first? What's going to trigger first? The death did. Son of a... Oh, it was so close, dude. Oh, okay. That is... That is irritating as hell. Just like that, Snake destroyed his third Metal Gear and himself. <laughs> Get up, Snake. I did kill it, but I died at the same time. We both went down. <laughs> it was mutually assured destruction. It. Again, the Stinger Missiles are nice, but all I really want are Chaff Grenades and or Rations. I do know there's Rations around here somewhere, so... We're going to, while we're running away from the Missiles, we're going to try and find those. Am I too close to shoot it? No. Good. That looks like regular ammo. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Excellent. That is an interesting looking screen there. Excellent. Uh, okay, two things. One, equip the rations because I forgot to do that. To throw a chaff. Excellent. I don't know if he knows where I'm at right now. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. That was close, but I think we're safe. Chaff grenade. Just keep running. Just keep running. We're too close right here to attack him, I believe. We should be fine right about here ish. We're doing much better this time, at the very least. Actually, you know what? I think we can get another stinger off real quick. If I could aim the stinger, please, game. Not a claymore. That's not going to do me any favors. Just got to get one more. I should have hid behind this shit real quick. Oh god. Can it please blow up already? Shoot it. Shoot it. Let's go. I don't think we took a hit that time. Or maybe one. Ban an in-game action attacking? Um, okay, I mean, we can sit here with the game paused for five minutes. <laughs> Because it's impossible to, <laughs> to progress without attacking.
would be heartfelt if it weren't for, you know, seeing it three times now. Foolish man. He prayed for death, and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! All right, so do we have any Codex people to talk to, or <laughs> any cool tips since we can't attack for the next three minutes, two minutes? It's a laser weapon that discharges a laser beam into an electron beam that's been accelerated using giant soup, yummy. It can generate an incredible amount of energy, pretty close to 100 megawatts. That's 10 times greater than any other laser out there. So stay away from the laser. Got it. <laughs> Laser be bad. I'm assuming Deep Throat's not going to answer. Yeah. Didn't think so. Meryl as well. Nope. She's maybe alive. Master. How about you, man? You going to respond from up there? What? You can't just take a moment to take my call, man. Snake, there's nothing I can do to help you. All I can do is cheer you on. With stalling? I can't attack for five minutes. <laughs> well, for two... One and a half minutes. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I can't fight the boss without attacking. So this is what we got to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when you completely stop progression of the game, I got to figure out some way to deal. What you got, Campbell? Anything interesting? I doubt it. soldier needs more to live for than just fighting. Maybe if he'd found something else, he wouldn't have been so haunted. He was too simple, too pure. There was nothing in this world for him to believe in, so he chose to believe... I do love himself. how the game just, like, pauses while right. we're talking in our codec. Like, like <laughs> we really should be dead right now. Death. Yeah, but if you ask me, there's no happiness to be gained in death. No it's gamble, either. isn't it? Not gambling. Not gonna leave here alive. Good. I want that too. Alright, well, I guess we're out of things to do, so. <laughs> uh, quickly, chaff grenade. Okay, well, I mean, we took a hit, but we're still alive. Come on, timer. Waiting for the timer to run out. Any moment now. Another chaff grenade. I really hate wasting the chaff grenades. <laughs> Come on. Just waiting for it to tick over to six minutes because I didn't notice it at first. Let's go. Let's go. One more chaff grenade. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Game. Or not game. Timer. Bruh. There it goes. Thank God. Okay. Stinger. <laughs> uh, yep. I can see you too. Okay. Oh, we lived. Uh, kind of. I mean, we're still alive, but we got hit. Chaff grenade, chaff grenade. Throw it, please. Oh, my God. You suck, Rex. <laughs> Okay, we're taking hits. It's to be expected. Uh, chaff grenade again. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to take too many missiles. So we may be in an okay spot still. Did that work? It did, but he sees us. Okay, I think we need to time our shots a little bit better. Um... Good thing he's not, like, just nuking us. <laughs> okay. As soon as he finishes with his three shots, I think that's the time to, to do our shot. And then chaff grenade. Shoot three more at me, please. Because since he can manually aim, it kind of... Yeah. And just having the chaff up isn't isn't quite good enough. 
in this point. Aim quickly, lock on, run, and chat. He's gonna shoot any moment. Shoot any moment. It's okay, he's not shooting for some reason. Uh, do we just, go? oh, I don't think he saw us. Okay, he does now though. Run away, <laughs> holy shit. So if we can keep him spinning around, maybe we're okay without the chaff? I don't know. Okay, that's three. Stinger. Uh, please, game. There we go. One more. One more. We're out of. We're out of chaff. We have three rations though. Get up. Uh, stinger. Oh no, we still have to hit him again. Let's go. Oh, we have one ration left. Is this actually it? <laughs> please tell me this is actually it. Heal? Uh, okay. We'll heal. I mean, by holding the rations, it heals, thankfully, too. But, like, automatically when we run out of health. But with as low health as we are, it doesn't hurt anything to eat one early. Okay, surely Liquid's dead, right? Like, he didn't survive that blast somehow. <laughs> Is there gonna be a Metroid escape sequence next? How... I feel like something's gonna fuck us, man. Something's gonna screw us over here. Oh god, he is still alive, isn't he? Why, game? <laughs> okay. He walked towards us all creepily. What now? I mean, I'm not trying to. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? Th that was... <laughs> kind of self-defense, TBH, but... when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les 
Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of Father's cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Octuplets? Yes. Holy fuck. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to okay. Father's DNA, yeah. they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. I mean, the technically soldiers, maybe, but I mean, that's right. <laughs> it's not like they we grew up together. Brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! 1991. The Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? God. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? <sighs> Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. 
Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural <laughs> selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you! Hey, Meryl! Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future. And even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a PDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Oh my God! Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Cutscenes, man. What is the Pentagon trying to do, <laughs> Colonel? Answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Dye. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. <laughs> I mean, that's true. If I that's issue true, an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? What? Oh, God. Did Octagon Snake. get caught? Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? Oh, no, it's Colonel. What okay. happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put Shut the up, Colonel Jim. back on. <laughs> He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Oh my God. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. President ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald. The DARPA chief is already dead. So, you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. 
And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Is that it? Nope. Still There's going. Okay. No way out for us. <laughs> Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. see this it will be the time limit for our final battle imagine the president wanted this me to snake after all this yeah <laughs> about <at> that the <laughs> precise moment of her death. okay got the controller in hand so also the ad manager is really wanting to run but for obvious reasons like if you win i don't know if i can <laughs> Because I can't pause in the middle of cutscenes and stuff. So, also, we only have 30 minutes left before I have to leave. <laughs> so, I, I hate to do it. But we might have to pause the game. And uh, finish up next time before we start the next game or something. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any way. I don't think I have enough time left to finish the game tonight, man. Snake? Save Meryl. I'm gonna try to. I'm definitely gonna try to. But yeah. I uh fuck, I really wanna finish it, but with as long as that last cutscene was, even if we complete the gameplay in time, I imagine there will still be cutscenes and stuff. I I just don't think we can hit it, guys. Fuck, that sucks. <laughs> I'm going to save the game. Um, of course, I just did. I'm also going to hit this button here. And since I'm playing on the PlayStation Mini, uh, delete the existing resume point and save a new one. Yes. There we go. We'll make a, uh, a save state as well. That way we can hop right back into where we were. But I think that's going to have to be the end of it. A little bit of a cliffhanger for the end of the game, man. Uh... So this Wednesday, Noodle and I are going out. I work tomorrow. Um, I mean, not tomorrow night, I guess. But I, I'm going to keep to the schedule. We'll finish it up next, not this coming Wednesday, because that's when Noodle and I go out. And then the Wednesday after that, we'll finish up this game. And with whatever time we have left, we'll start our new game that we're finishing. Uh, and then we'll call it there. One more time, guys, before I go, though, I do want to just throw up that link again if anybody hasn't already and would like to vote on the next game that we're going to complete on stream. That'll be happening right after we get done with Metal Gear, I guess. <laughs> but there's the link for that, so if anybody else wants to vote on it. Last time I looked, there was a bit of a tie going on. Yeah, there still is. So if we do end up with a tie like that, what we'll do is uh, just roll a, a die digitally or something, probably on stream. And then... <laughs> Nate says vote Jack 2. He really wants Jack 2 to win, apparently. Anyways, yeah, so whichever one, whichever one does end up winning, we'll play that. If there's a tie, we'll do a roll and uh, go from there. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, I, I, I'm out of time. I just don't have time to finish it. There's no way. I don't know how long the ending cutscene is for this game, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be longer than, I mean, assuming we only have, you know, 10, 15 minutes left of gameplay, even that would only leave me like three minutes for the ending cutscene. 
So there's, it's just not going to happen, sadly. Uh, but all right, guys. Uh, as far as today goes, though, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me on this not regular stream that I had, you know, on Monday. I planned on it only being two hours. It ended up being nearly four. But, <laughs> you know, that's how it happens, I guess. Until... Today's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. We'll be playing PS2 stuff. We're skipping Wednesday. So, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow with something PS2 related. I hope everyone had a good night. Thank you again for coming and hanging out. And as always, be kind to each other. The last cutscene is only three minutes long. Is it really? I don't... I can't. I can't risk it, man. Because I, I have to pick Noodle up. I don't have a choice there. Oh god, I really want to beat it, but it's fine. Cliffhanger. Gonna happen, not this coming Wednesday, but the next one. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Okay, so I'll just put them in there. That way it's like a nice permanent place to uh to to check it out. Uh, not till talk, tick talk.